Normally thousands of Baylor alumni would be enjoying homecoming weekend today, but this year it's a little different. Fox 44's Cameron Stewart is live in the studio. Cameron, how has the atmosphere changed this year? Well, Noelle, it's technically homecoming weekend still, but obviously with no football game and no parade, the alumni aren't exactly flocking to Waco. To businesses who wait all year for this weekend, it's hard not to see it as a letdown. The uh, times are a little bit different now. Any other year, Waco would be experiencing its most chaotic day on the calendar, Baylor homecoming Saturday. But without a parade or a home football game, businesses are missing out on those alumni itching to visit their favorite old hangouts. You know, the place is like a ghost town, like, you know, just like, you know, they're used to, like, you know, customers, you know, uh, around every single, like, you know, corner of this restaurant. Yeah, it's typically one of our busiest weekends. Um, if you look at just like Thursday through Sunday, um, for money wise, it's always a really good weekend for us. So, Restaurants like George's and Shorty's Pizza Shack have become synonymous with the Baylor community. Without the alumni coming this year, it dishes a blow to the restaurant's bank accounts and their morale. No, it's definitely, it's definitely a letdown, definitely sad for all of us. I mean, we, we a lot of us look forward to homecoming weekend too because we get to see a lot of friends that, you know, moved off or people that used to be regulars at the restaurant, old students coming back and saying hello. Um, so yeah, it's definitely just kind of been a little, I guess, melancholy is a good word, you know, without events going on on campus. Events like the annual bonfire and parade were moved online and the football game postponed till December, leaving months worth of planning to go to waste. Definitely a lot of planning goes into it, you know, um, you know, ordering a lot more food and preparation, you know, having extra staff. Uh, like I said, typically we'll run, you know, almost extra staff every day starting on Thursday on a typical homecoming weekend just because we know that we are going to be so busy. Through a more low-key weekend than they were expecting, these small businesses are finding the silver lining. Disappointing, I wouldn't say disappointing, you know, like, you know, glad we have, do have our doors open and, you know, people still coming out, still people coming out, like, you know, to, uh, to support us uh, here at Georgia's. You know, it is disappointing. We've, we love to see all the people and visitors, and, um, but hopefully it's just a one-year pause and we can get back to normal next year. So. Both restaurants agreed losing homecoming weekend activities hurt not just the students and the alumni, but Waco as a whole. Live in the studio, I'm Cameron Stewart, Fox 44 News.